Hello there viewers, well you're back for some more even though I got uh, silly about the pronunciation of uh, the name in the last video. We're having a look at uh, Eulerian walks, sometimes known as Eulerian walks, but um, we had a look at Eulerian trails uh, last time. This time we're looking at Eulerian circuits. Let's have a look at the difference here. So a Eulerian circuit uses every edge exactly once and starts and ends at the same vertex. So I'm going to underline with my fancy pen the word same here because a Eulerian trail from our last video ha had to start and end at a different vertex. So that's the difference between the two if you're thinking. Okay, so and a Eulerian circuit exists if every vertex has an even degree. We'll check that out as well. Let's have a look at an example, some pretty simple examples here, basic examples of a Eulerian circuit. Well, we're going to check whether they're Eulerian circuits anyway. So we need to use every edge exactly once, therefore uh, not missing any out and not repeating any. And we need to start and end at the same vertex. So let's see if we can make that happen in our basic square here. So if we go to A to B, down to C, across to D, and up to A, we have used every edge exactly once, we haven't missed any out or repeated any, and we've started and ended at the same vertex. What did we start with? I think it was A, wasn't it? Started and ended at the same vertex. Now let's just check out the second bit as well while we're here on this shape. Uh, it exists, this second bit is, the Eulerian circuit exists if every vertex has an even degree. And I think you, just by looking here, I reckon you can tell that every vertex here has a degree of, yes I can hear you saying it to yourself, it has a degree of two. It has two edges that are connecting at that vertex. So certainly every vertex has an even degree on that shape. Let's check out another one over here and we'll go around it with our red fanciness. A to B, B to C, C to D and D to E up there. Um, so, have we used every edge exactly once? Yes, we have. And have we started and finished at the same vertex? I'm pretty sure we started at A and finished at A. And do we have every uh, vertex having an even degree? Now, there is a bit of a hidden one in here. You have the usual A with 2, B with 2, which are all even degrees here. Now, have you spotted that on this one, because it crosses, cr and we've got a vertex there, there is a blob underneath there, before I read all over it in red and green, uh, because it's got a letter there naming that vertex. Now, if we count that as um, a vertex, I wonder what degree it has. It has four edges that connect to it, so it has a degree of four, but is four even as well as all the twos they've got degrees of twos all these other ones yes it is two is uh, sorry two is even and four is even and so we've ticked off that second condition in our second diagram as well hope that makes sense they're the ways you test whether you've got a Eulerian circuit there's a few conditions every edge has to be used once and not repeated and it's got to start and end at the same vertex and you've got to check out the um, vertexes or the vertices to see if they have even degrees all over the shop so they're a little bit more pedantic or uh, more particular. There's more conditions that need to be met for a Eulerian circuit there. So you have Eulerian trails and Eulerian circuits. Probably the main difference there is uh, something to do with the degrees, but the main difference is whether you start and end at the same vertex or start and end at a different vertex. So hopefully uh, try and learn the difference between those two because they might ask a question on it. Thanks so much for listening. See you next time.